Now, all roads lead to the same place, which is here, which is now. And you can find internal peace regardless of what you choose. But I challenge you to notice and to ask yourself, am I willing? Am I willing to potentially open my heart to something that I can't see the full journey, the full path to? So I'm getting a haircut the other day at this barbershop here in Austin that caters to um, queer, LGBTQ, transgender, and more. And I often take that time to just sit, be still, and listen. Um, One of the uh, parts of my character is... Uh, the hermit. For those of you who've done human design, I have a big hermit energy where I like to just watch and take people in and listen and learn. And I'm listening to this girl. Uh, I don't know if she identifies as that, but uh, she would be considered a girl from where I sat uh, speak. And she said, you know, I was talking to my mom the other day and she was like, First of all, before that, she was going on and on about this new theater play that she's doing here in Austin. And she was so excited about it, like really excited that it was like filling up the whole space, right? And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow, this is interesting. Her passion is persuading. It's it's intertwining with all the energy in the barbershop. And... uh she says, you know, I was talking to my mom the other day. My mom is like, where did all of this like, like energy around theater come from? Like how or like, why did you choose theater? And, and then she says, and I was like, mom, I didn't choose theater. Theater chose me. And I had this little chuckle inside of me because I have my own judgments around theater nerds and things like that. And for those of you who don't know, I was a theater nerd for many years. Uh, I got my MFA, a master's in fine arts from Louisiana State University. I've done Colorado Shakespeare Festival. I've auditioned for Yale and NTC and all these different places and got into like a bunch of grad schools and did all these things. Um, I've done hundreds of plays uh, in big, full theaters. Um, and, uh, so I have a special love for theater nerds and yet I was listening and I was thinking, here's this person and this, this transmission is a conversation about abundance because here's this person who signed up for something that inevitably does not, um, like when you sign up to be a doctor, you know, there's going to be money involved with it. Maybe you love to, to be a doctor, but you know, Money's coming with it. You sign up to be a lawyer, you know that it's going to be hard, but you know money's coming with it. When you sign up to be a theater person, (laughs) when you sign up to the theater, you're kind of signing up knowing that it's going to probably not be extremely lucrative. And yet there was something in the way that she was communicating, something in the way of energy. Her energy body was so full that I asked myself, To me, this person appears to be more abundant than somebody who has chosen, and I'll speak for myself, paths and angles at things that they like. Like they, they, you, you, you go around, you go around the thing that you want the most, that you desire the most. And here's this young person who's going straight to the middle straight to the thing they desire the most and doing it in such a way that it fills her, him, she, they up in such a way that it penetrates and permeates the entire space. Well, to me, this is abundance. This is abundance. And there's no dollar sign. There's no check you can write a person to get that. You have to actually experience it. You have to live it. And it has to be true within yourself. And so my challenge to anybody listening to this right now, who's on the fence about whether to, um, Say yes to your internal calling, regardless 
of whether you understand that it's going to be lucrative or it's going to be something that your mother or father or whoever else can brag about later on, but it's your thing. It's the thing that's on your soul. Are you saying yes to that or are you going around it? Are you going to the center or are you going to the circumference of it? Now, all roads lead to the same place, which is here, which is now. And you can find internal peace regardless of what you choose. But I challenge you to notice and to ask yourself, am I willing? Am I willing to potentially open my heart to something that I can't see the full journey, the full path? An unhappy journey will never lead to a happy ending. Happy endings are byproducts of a happy journey. And I find not just peace, but joy in the journey. When I'm fully accepting that this is what I'm here to do, be, and have right now. I don't understand the rest I don't have the full blueprint. I don't know where it's going to go, but I know that in this now moment, I'm called to do something that I don't fully understand. To me, that is the definition of courage. That is the definition of somebody saying yes to their yes. And it's, it's something that to, to be proud of. So I, 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 I tip my hat to this beautiful soul for teaching me and showing me what real abundance is. If this transmission blessed you in any way, I ask that you share it with someone. Just choose a person and say, I am going to bless you with this story from this chocolate man named Preston Smiles. Also, for any of you who would love to be a part of a community where spirituality meets life coaching, we have a beautiful space called Sanctuary. It is extremely extremely affordable. I don't care where you are in the world, you can be a part of this. So make sure that you click the link below and join us as soon as possible. We have so many beautiful uh, features and benefits and uh, there's so much community and laughter and joy and play and we learn together, we grow together, we stretch together. This is your home. Come on home to Sanctuary. Make sure that you click the link below and join immediately. I love you so much. Thank you all for tuning in. Blessings and blessings. Oh, oh, hurrah!